Yeah, what I realised more and more each day is I, I really do feel like a ghost, and that can mean different things to different people. I mean, it could mean the fact that you're just wandering the earth on your own, and you're never really connected with anyone. Kind of like how I feel anyway. You know, I never really had a lot of mates, if I'm being honest. Not really. Let's see if I can set this up. Ah, oh, fuck it. Just leave it. No. You know what I mean? I grew up quite isolated. My mum. See, I can't even fucking talk that because I've got fucking neighbours next door. The wall. You can hear a fucking mouse fart next door. It sucks. You know what I mean? It fucking sucks. Living in a fucking shared flat. Well, it's not even shared, but a flat with loads of other people in Whatever, all I want to is a house. Just don't think that's going to happen now. Because more and more it's dead, I just, I just feel like I'm dying. I don't know whether I'm dying spiritually or fucking mentally or physically. Just can't tell. But I know I do feel like a ghost. Maybe it's just because my whole time here, I've never really connected with anyone. Wow. Just never, just never clicked. Just never, just never happened. But you know, I'm sure there's other people out there who feel the same. And if there is, you're not the only one. Fucking sucks, doesn't it? But you gotta keep this in mind. This is just temporary. This fucking. Dimension, fucking experience, whatever you want to call it, it's just temporary. And you will pass as long as you're just a decent person, you know what I mean? And that's one thing I realised when, because I've had like mm, three, maybe four near death experiences. And I know for the last one, I, d I can remember specifically being dropped back. I can, the clear as day, I can remember something or someone or whatever it was. I said, ooh. Shit, man, you've had a rough time, dude. And there you go, have, have another go. And again, fucked it up, just no, done nothing. Had a chance to escape UK. Advised to go see the world a bit, but I didn't. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I tried, even today, I try. I mean, I keep trying, but it keeps fucking up, you know. I tried to uh, book a flight to Barcelona. And go see the church in Barcelona, which, go check that out on Google. Wow. And have a look inside the church. I forget, I don't know what it's called, some mad name. It's fucking beautiful. Though. I don't even know how you could even do that. Like, that is just like one massive acid trip, that is. And funnily enough, I've just been listening to something about um, psilocybin mushrooms and that. One thing that probably... The whole Bible's based on is it just being like a fucking drug cult. Just doing acid, you know. Jesus is just a hippie wanderer meeting people in his sandals and going, hey, do you want some fucking mushrooms? And then changing lives. Because it does sort your head out. I mean, I'm not had any for it ages. But after I heard that, I was like, right, where are these mushrooms? And there's like an online mushroom app you can fucking go on. And there's, like, there's some literally just right down the fucking road from me. So I'm going to go down tomorrow morning, early doors, get some. Fuck it. I bought some, uh, like a stencil kit, some drawing pens. I'm just going to do like a book full of fucking doodles and all that shit. Just fucking why not? Have some acid and see what I come up with. Well, mushrooms, but same thing. That's what all the artists do, innit? Fuck it, what, I mean, like I said, I was trying to go Barcelona and then I was on the phone because I tried to go Boston in New York in January. And I was just about to go and then all the shit kicked off in America. I'm like, fucking, I was like, oh, fuck it, you know what I mean? Fuck it. Oh, right, it's fucking the apocalypse over there, yeah? And I'll like, oh, fuck it, fuck it off and I'll just stay, I'll book another flight somewhere else. And then I was going to go Prague, that got cancelled. And then I'm just trying to go Barcelona this morning. 
on the phone for fucking 50 fucking minutes and she just kept saying the same fucking thing over and over and over and over and over again. Details. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your passport number? What's your email? I've just told you like fucking five times, bitch. Just fucking boot me on the fucking plane. Oh, have a nice day. I would if you fucking just sorted it out. And then at the very end, she's like, oh, I can't sort this little detail out, so I'm going to have to pass you on. And then the phone just went dead. Couldn't fucking believe it, man. Mm. So I just give up. I just gave the fuck up on that idea. So. So fuck it. Really deep down, if I'm dying, which I do feel like I am. Maybe I th everything I keep seeing is saying cancer. 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 And I do smoke fucking loads of cigarettes. So, yeah. I've probably got lung cancer. And I don't even give a fuck. You know what I mean? Pass me on. Go up to Valhalla. Can't fucking wait, man. Give me some peace. But it got me thinking more. It's like, well, maybe this is, like... Maybe I'm on a little ghostly mission. You know what I mean? I've like, I got dropped back off. Just to finish me up. Because I used to make music a lot on my own. I never really made an album on my own, but we did an album under the name Militant Funk, me and a friend, we're like both just undercover, you know what I mean, in and out. And it's probably the best shit we've ever done. I mean, admittedly, Ben did more this time because I haven't got a fucking computer. So I just like do loads of the samples and loops and beats and all that shit, send them over to him and he'd like tidy it all up and polish it off and that but together man me and him smash it he's fucking he's, he's my brother man it's not like Cain and Abel you know what I mean Cain and fucking Abel and at the moment well I wasn't Abel before but I am now so I'm going to Fucking work on this album. I've already done four tunes. And I send them over to my brother because I think he's got like, he's, he just said he's got like 20 weeks off because he teaches over in China. So, yeah, that's the, one of the plus sides of being a teacher. You get all summer all the weeks off, don't you? So, I'm going to get some shit done, send it over to him, get him, polish it off, get the album part two up. Because I fucking love music. It's the only thing that's pure. Well, any art. But I've never really... I mean, I've had a few doodles the past year. Some trippy shit. Being more geometric and that. Ge Geometry is beautiful now. Now I've got my head like, really looked at it. It's like, wow, it's fucking stunning, man. When you look at a church and it's just like, fuck, my head. Like, wow, how do you even do it? It's like godly, you know. You'd, you'd, whoever did that had to be on, had to be tripping bored. No way, no way. You wouldn't do that on a straight head. No fucking way, man. You wouldn't even think about doing that. So yeah. So I bought a little red book <laughs> with a little lock on, a drawing thing. It looks mint. It's dead cute. A lot of them. And draw, fill it all out with magic. Maybe a bit of math. You know, you know. Because that's the constant, that's the one constant, isn't it? Math is built in everything. Even music. When you think about it, think about this one. Why did they change the main tone from 432 to 440? Why? 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 I think it's been proven now that it affects you, the vibrations in the body. And 440 is like a mm, shitty vibration, but it's so my, my, minuscule, my teeth, so fucked, e, that you, you don't even notice it, but it does affect the physical body. It does affect the brain. People haven't even got a clue about it. So all my music now I do, I try and do it in 432 as much as I can. And yeah, I think one day, hopefully in the future, 
some of the tunes will get played out and at a big party when everyone fucking passes this covid shit and just it's all out the way and things go back to normal and someone does a fuck off rave that's what i want so i want someone doing a rave and then just play a couple of my tunes well not mine militant funk you know what i mean militant funk because when, when i sent me email when uh, this morning when i book a flight to barcelona she's like what's your email i said oh militant, militant funk techno and uh asked but i ain't telling you that anyway she fucking uh she's like oh that's a cool email i was like fucking damn right it is so why do you think i fucking pick the name you know what i mean and i bought the website the other day militantfunk.com can't even believe it's available so i've got me website sorted so i was gonna do a traveling blog <laughs> that's out the fucking window so i'm just gonna do a fucking art website and just uh, do that. Maybe do like a, and then get an extension and just have it fucking forever. Mm -hmm. We'll pass it on to me mate, Bob. Cause this ain't about fucking money. It's not about fucking recognition. There's nothing about that. It's about leaving a little bit of you behind. Mm. Oh, it is. I remember all I ever wanted to do because I have one of my tunes on record, and I don't that, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't but now, now, who the fuck buys record? No one. So, but what's the thing that will always be from now on? Well, the internet. I'll get my shit on Spotify or YouTube. And um, i tried to see if I can get on my website, if I can. I don't know if you can even do that. Maybe. With the storage, I don't know how much storage you can have. I don't really want to rely on any company, you know. What I, mean? I just want my own your album to do it myself, but I ain't got time to fucking learn how to make a website and all the bollocks that goes into that. I just want to do it, you know what I mean? And if people find it, then they can just fucking download it themselves and just keep it. I don't give a shit, take it. <coughs> I'm just gonna put pictures of the doodles that I do as well on my Instagram. And and then if I do go, I won't leave my boots to bed. Yeah. I mean, I've already left bits for my son and stuff. I bought some tunes and that. But yeah, this could, you know, I don't think I've got long left. I think everything that I'm going through, which some people call psychosis, I just think it's fucking genius. I, I've had a great time. I've learnt loads of mad shit. It's been well fucking cool. I've never learnt so much mad shit in such a short amount of time. And I just want to share that the best way I can. I'm going to try and... Still going to do my book. Um, and... Do an art book and an album. And then I'm good to go, man. Take me out. Take me out of the system. But anyway, God is good. God is God. And as long as you're good, you get to go see God. And I can't fucking wait, man. Go see the fam. You know what I mean? Go see the family. All the ancient ones up there. Right, anyway. Stay good. Stay positive. And lift those fucking vibrations up. Do some magic mushrooms and go around and teach the word of Jesus Christ, baby.